Let's go. Welcome back. Saturday night. Yep, lovely. Saturday night. I've got a chessboard. I'm going to play some five minute blitz. Let's go. My opponent is playing. Italian game. Italian setup, you know me. Mm, but here. That's pawn sacrifice. I will defend. Uh, C3. Knight's gonna come here, here, here. First dropping the bishop back. You see this A. Yeah, let's go. So my opponent goes for this queenside pawn storm. Everybody's different. I just don't see what the point of storming the queen side is when my king is very likely and is castled on the king side. But yeah, it depends on your style of play. It does grab space. Oops, it does grab space in the square control. And they do say you're supposed to play on both sides of the board, the whole board. Some players will take time and attack on one side a few moves and then attack on the other side. Let's go. Uh, this knight, I think, wants to re-maneuver, so maybe the queen could come in as bishop, or the rook and the bishop could be improved. I don't really want to allow my opponent to open up anything here. I'm going to play these series of moves, something like this or this, improving this bishop. The rook will be the last to be developed. But yeah, I just didn't like this, because then you start to... This rook gets a little more active. Okay, dropping this knight back. I have this central pawn control. The computer, when they evaluate a position, always looks at the square control that you have on your opponent's side of the board. Uh, yeah, no... Yeah, knight's back in the game. And anytime you have your bishop locked in like this, where it can't move anywhere, it's never a good feeling. The knight goes back, improving this bish. It feels like there are sacking ideas here. I'd love to get to take time, if I have time, to bring the queen here, Some the rook or the bishop somewhere, and then rook here onto the default, and then try to open up. I'm going to do just that. And you can see that the queen and the rook are x-raying this bishop, which is only defended... Okay, bishop moves. Very logical. I'm going to take here. Knight's going to take... But then I think I have this pawn storm. For the moment, this bishop is a little silly. And the pawn, and if you push the pawn, I just push past, I think... Although I would love to activate this bishop pair by pushing both of these pawns out of the path of these two lovely bishops. Here it's very tempting just to push past, but you'd hang this pawn. Uh, so finally developing the bishop defending here, let's go. Now the rook can come to the defile. And again, look at this bishop. And look, I control all these squares with my pieces. Um, could play this, but then you... Okay, opponent is eyeing this twice. I think I have to take time. Bring the rook over, but no, the knight is loose too, so this is the way. Improving the queen. Defending here, defending here. Let's go. I do like this queen move by my opponent, though. Very active. Forcing, almost. I think the difference in this position is going to be the minor pieces. The minor piece activity. Again, it feels like there's something here. I'm using arrows. Yeah, I'm in. I'm already in. Removing here. Pawn takes, knight takes. Hitting the queen. Queen of my dreams. One sees that and moves the knight aside. Hitting my queen. I could snap it off. There's something better. I 
Um, yeah, I can play this. This is, oops, this is still defended. I'd like to keep everything I can on the board. Pawn takes, if pawn takes here, okay, just pushing past. I think pushing past is the way. I don't want this bishop to get active. And maybe in a classical game, in a longer time format, it's not so good, but in a shorter term, uh, time format, I think these sort of sensible moves that uh, impede the opponent's pieces are a good idea. Because they're frustrating. Now what? <laughs> We're moving this bishop here, which lends defense here, lends defense here. Let's go. And time is drawing near to even my opponent of about seven seconds. It's lovely. Already night. How long are we here? is about to drop under two minutes. And again, my opponent has this these advanced pawns on the queen side. Some square control, but what are they actually doing? Is there some no I think this is the way. Ooh, oof. Oh, that hurts. Okay. I can do about it. I have to still defend here. Defend here. I guess the bishop was defending. Uh, I'll take with the bishop. Defending here. Defending here. Still have this rook. Like I said earlier, the rook is the last to be uh, brought into the game to be developed. Maybe. Can I get something like this? King here. Rook here. And this is the bad bishop. Okay, this is loose. Okay. Can I? I think I can. I think I can. Uh, there is a check here. King can come forward, I think. Check doesn't do anything, I just take. The rook is finally in the game. Let's go. And this is defended. Three times. Bonus still has his bad bishop. I have some pressure here now. Let's go. Oh, there's a pin you can't grab, but I can grab here. I can ignore this. Defending here three times. Suppose the rook is threatening to come here, hitting the pawn. When it is down to 55 seconds. Yeah. Um, probably here. Let's go. Now here. Now I'm threatening this check here. This is actually a mate. This is a mate on the board. Can you stop this? Oh, okay, we have a runner. Yep, yeah, to bring the knight here. Check, queen takes, queen takes, king takes. Still the mate on the board. But if all that happens, this pawn is hitting the bish. Run it down to 27 seconds. King steps aside. There is still a check here, but the king gets away. The check here. I'm gonna go for this. It's active. Let's go. Check here. Rook takes. Queen takes. No. Uh. Sheesh. Okay, just grabbing a piece. Active play. Now I'm threatening. Okay, taking here. I think I can take here. Yeah, let's go. Check. Let's go. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Cheers.